What's up, worship boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Before we get started with this video, y'all, I want y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so we can stay in tune with all the videos, the reviews, the own feats, and all the vlogging that's coming soon. Let's not waste too much time. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Boom. We have it here. The Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Very dope shoe, very dope colorway, man. You already know what time it is, what's going on. You already know, man. I had to bring this out because um, I see a lot of people giving those new threes. You know, all these different threes that's coming out, the cool grade threes, the, uh, I think it's the UNC threes, the, uh, I think it was like a orange and white three. Those threes are getting so much praise, like they're just grails when people was letting stuff like this sit in the mall. This was sitting, bruh. I had like three pairs of these joints. People were passing on that, but now all of a sudden threes are, you know, the it shoe. Um, don't get me wrong now, some of the OG heads, you know, I used to like, I used to think about Cool Grade Threes as being a dope shoe for that time, but I'm not interested in having them again. But I decided today, man, to go ahead and just bring out two of my favorite shoes. Yes, I did say two. Uh, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement and also the Air Jordan 1 White Cement, the 88s, bro. And if you don't know by now what these shoes mean to basketball and to the sneaker culture at all, you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. Uh, for sure, man, if you didn't know, Jordan, which you should know, but for the kids that don't know, Jordan went crazy in 1988 for the dunk contest. He basically Jumped from the free throw line, bro. With no hesitations. Um, first try, he jumped from the free throw line, man. And this shoe was forever, was for forever monumental because of that moment. Um, the white ones are more, I would say, more monumental than the black ones. The black cement was something he did play in during the All-Star game. And I think in a few games, but the white one is so memorable because when he jumped from the free throw line, he had these on. Now, quick review of both shoes. This one is predominantly black. Bottom is, you know, same old, same old Air Jordan 3 bottom. You got your hit of red right there. You're great all throughout this joint. You got your Nike hit right there uh, in red. If you do know also the, I think one of the Virgil shoes, I can't think of it, was inspired by, you could tell that it was inspired by the Air Jordan 3. Work your way up to the midsole. Midsole is predominantly white. One thing I do hate about the three right here, this this part starts to, uh, discoloring for some reason, always. You can try to clean it, do whatever you want, but it still never gets back to that all white base. Um, black has black paint. Paint hasn't been chipping. This is doing pretty good for it to be like three years, what is it, three years old? So four years old, actually. These came out 2017, so about to be four years old. Uh, the paint is doing pretty well. Threes usually chip bad like Air Jordan 4s, but it's doing good, it's holding up. Monumental part as well, elephant print right there, all around the toe cap. Uh, you do have like a black mud guard uh, right under the uh, toe cap of the elephant print. Hill has that elephant print all the way throughout it as well. Nike Air on the back, black tab right there. Again, upper leather on this joint was so butter, so nice. This was a very nice leather for this uh, shoe when it dropped out. And again, people were sleeping on it. Tongue, very soft, you have a gray tongue. Red Jumpman, as you can see back uh, about four years ago, they was basically putting this little red piece hanging it over the tongue. Now they started like tucking it behind it, which I actually like better, kind of gives it more of that OG touch, that OG feel to it. Wish they would have done it with this to make it more close to the OG, but you know, it is what it is. Black laces, no extra laces like we get nowadays. Red on the aglets on that side, gray on the guts. I told y'all before, when I was really into like preserving everything, I was putting tape over that, so you got that red insole with a Nike Air right there. And um, that's about it for this shoe, man. Very dope shoe. I'm gonna make sure to get y'all on feet on this one. Then you have the white cements, predominantly white shoe. Very dope shoe in my opinion. If you know, you know. Thank you, Frankie, for allowing me to grab these for you for the 200 bucks used. Definitely a dope shoe. Uh, start from the bottom, as you can see the big difference with Jordan Brand up at is where you see the Nike right there and then they put Jordan right here. So I thought that was a big mess up right there. That's what they usually have put on all the uh, Jordan 3s before they started uh, retro, retro in um, the, the OG branding. 
and they put Jordan on the bottom. So that's what they jacked up for this one. Uh, same thing, same soles, midsole, kind of the same layout. It is actually the same layout. Gray right here around the stars, white on the midsole, black paint. This one is what? This one's from 2012. Paint's doing well, a little cracking on it, not too bad, but trust me, eventually it will crack. Um, I actually like, I kind of like this one a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like this elephant print was a little bit higher than this one and a little bit darker. It could be because of age too, so don't quote me on that. Um, back also has that elephant print. You got that Nike Air, both sides, which is very dope. You see it right there. I, uh, Aglets has that black right there, red at the bottom. Canes with white laces. Uh, tongue is leather as well, like it is on the other one. You do have that uh, white uh, tongue with the red Jumpman right there. Just a very dope shoe. White guts, guts are, aren't as white as they used to be. I do have insoles in this joint, but as you can see as well, same thing as far as the Nike Air on that. So. Two of my favorite shoes when it comes to like OG, kind of that OG status, that OG feel, the Air Jordan 3 is definitely in that top 10 for me specifically, I think even the top five to be honest because you can never go wrong with an Air Jordan 3 with that OG branding. All these new shoes, I just feel like the new shoes getting a lot of clout. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna switch things up, do something different, do two on feats in one video and just give a, a quick review. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the Air Jordan 3 white cement and the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Um, is it one of your favorite shoes in your collections? Do you have this shoe in your collection? Either one. I need to get, uh, what's the joints? Um, it's another pair I need to get. I can't think of it right now. But I need to get the other one, other one with the Nike Air on the back. Can't pass it. If you don't have any in your collection, try to go look for it now, and I bet you don't even think about buying it because prices are up. While y'all was sleeping, people like me was grabbing, baby. And trust me, man, now, now that I look at it, it was a, definitely a good good pickup because now this type of shoes, you never know when it's going to drop again. We be waiting 10, 15, 20 years for shoes, and you never know when you're going to get an Air Jordan 3, especially with the uh, Nike Air on the back because they did put these in the vault at one time. So thank y'all for watching, man. Not going to hold y'all up anymore. Let's close out the video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell. I'm going to go ahead and run the own feet, y'all. You know how it goes down over in my channel. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Let's go. I put that shit in this song, so I'ma be on and that's in the out. Don't think about doing shit wrong, I shot for your dome, I load up the top. I put the silencer on, so answer the phone whenever I call you. She don't wanna leave me alone, just leave it alone, this magical power. I put that shit in this song, so I'ma be on and that's in the out. Don't think about doing shit wrong, I shot for your dome, I load up the top. I put the silencer on, so answer the phone whenever I call you. She don't wanna leave me alone. That shit rain on my brain like a shout. Uh, don't try to come for me, bitch. Get back. I will remain a G in all caps. I'm about my paper, that cheese. I get mad. Mari, so cold. Guy in like cook crack. Uh huh. Nigga, this ain't play pippin', I stay pippin'. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. help you with your women, just tell me what your game is. Tell me what's good, yeah. tell me what's good, right. tell me what's good. I want the rings on all five fingers. I've been